Hi guys, and welcome back to another monthly pickup video for what's joined the collection. So this is everything that I have ordered and bought through April. Um, so many awesome additions. We've got some media books, we've got TV series, premium steel books, an absolutely epic arrow delivery from uh, over the Easter weekend sale. I've got some steel books, lenticular digi books, and one absolutely awesome nameless media blu-ray buster wrong turn up there at the top so guys we've got quite a lot to go through so what we'll do is place the camera back down here and what we will do is start with nameless media's the hitcher uh the rudger Hauer's b movie classic so this uh this media book here from nameless media um it is known as the vintage vhs edition limited to only 55 in the world because it came with this absolutely awesome VHS edition of the movie. So this was uh, newly made for this release. So it's a brand new video, brand new VHS, uh, still sealed uh, in sort of this retro style old 80s packaging. And it's just awesome for a collector's item. Uh, anybody who, like me, likes to collect physical media and remembers the days of VHS, this is such a cool item to own. Um, I'll keep it sealed. I'm not going to open it up. There's no real point in, uh, in opening it up when I've got the Blu-ray to watch. But yeah, as a, a limited edition item um, to go together on, on the shelf in the collection, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, very happy to get that one delivered. And typical fashion in these media books, we've got the Blu-ray at the beginning and then towards the end of the media book there's the dvd edition of it and in the center we've got some promotional material production photos behind the scenes information so yeah very happy to have that one arrive and then next up i received season 18 of doctor who one of the classic seasons with tom bacon and this edition, like all the other previous uh, versions that have released of the classic series, has come in this digi book, uh, digi pack type box with all of the Blu-ray discs, as you can see, all presented with a booklet and episode guide as well. So that's very cool. And um, one of my favourite Doctors. So it was nice to get this uh, classic season released. So they have released three of these classic editions so far. So um, yeah, I think the next one is going to release in June maybe. But yeah, so long as they keep going, then we'll be able to get a full complete collection of Doctor Who on Blu-ray. So that'll be awesome. And also picked up Parks and Rec. So this uh, TV series I had never seen before. And uh, it's only because one of my friends on Facebook has been uh, plastering Ron Swanson quotes all over the place and <laughs> cracks me up every time. So I knew I was going to pick this up on my next 20% off JB Hi-Fi sale trip. And luckily over Easter they did. Um, inside the box is all seven seasons on DVD. Um, season two is currently upstairs. My partner and I are watching, uh, watching that at the moment. One episode per night through our evening meal. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic series, really funny, and it just seems to be getting better. Season 2 is better than Season 1, and I assume as it goes on, it just gets funnier and funnier. So yeah, very happy to pick that one up. And also over here is this huge Legend of Korra um, limited edition TV anime series. So I wasn't a huge fan of M. Night Shyamalan's um, The Last Airbender movie. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people weren't, to be honest. Um, but I have heard very good things about this anime show. So when I first picked this up in the JB sale, I didn't quite realise that it had a limited edition number. And when I, it was only when I got home and realised that this one was number one of 3,000. So I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my luck. Um, so yeah, very happy when I unbox this one. Um, I do need to still pick up The Legend of Ang. That's the series that came before this one. Um, but I've got plenty of time because I don't plan on actually watching this edition until Netflix releases their live action version of the show. So I'm not quite sure when that's going to release, but I think I've got a bit of time yet. So opening up the box, you're presented with this, uh, this pretty cool uh, cardboard uh, print. And then if we fold that forward, then we get to see the discs. So these are on Blu-ray. And then if we lift that first page up, there's the second page. And then underneath those is a very cool art book, The Art of the Animated Series. So I did flick through that when I first opened it up. And it's full of lots of awesome imagery and um, 
designs from the show so i will check that out in more detail once i've actually finished watching it so i've got plenty of time left for that one so i'll just close that back up and make room for the first premium of the month so here we have jurassic world fallen kingdom so anyone who watched my video from last month, the pickups through March, would have seen that I got the Film Arena edition of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, it's very similar in artwork. One of the designs on that also featured uh, the Indoraptor on the front, um, and a couple of the artworks have been used again on this one. Uh, but what makes this edition different is, like a typical one-click box, you get all three editions. You get, there's a 3D, two 4K editions, but one's a lenticular, the second one's a double lenticular, and the third one is just a standard full slip. So if we just remove those from the outer box, and this is my favorite of the three, this uh, this artwork here, um, I think the colours are fantastic and the lenticular is very deep and the dinosaurs in the, the background, very clear. And yeah, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So on the back of this slip cover is the standard imagery of the uh, volcano erupting on the island. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then the same artwork that was released on Film Arena's edition, they had it as a lenticular magnet stuck over their steel book. What blue fans here from China have done is released it as part of the full slip itself, so this won't come off. Um, but it's the same artwork and it looks just as nice as Film Arena's. It's very deep, the lenticular is very crisp, and uh, when the light catches it, it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's cool. And uh, what makes this edition um, a little bit better than that one is it's part of the double lenticular, so it comes with uh, this back cover all also of the young girl in the uh, the big mansion and um, so that's a, a cool piece of artwork as well so that's very cool and then the standard full slip which they don't don't typically come with any lenticular um portions on the slips but they are highlighted with their uh, glossy areas some embossing usually and this one there uh, has it in the actual uh, logo which is very awesome and on the back of the full slip is the artwork again um, from the beginning of the movie where the T-Rex is trying to nibble on the guy who's getting away on the helicopter. Um, so yeah, very awesome. Now typically on these one-click box sets what usually happens is the company will release the same steel book three times in these individually customed artwork. Um, but what Blue fans have done is released three different variations of the Steelbook. Um, all of them were was worldwide art, so they were available in lots of different countries, lots of stores around the world. Um, typically, Blue fans, when they do release their own custom Steelbooks, they are very impressive. Some of the Marvel Steelbooks they make are some of the best in the world. Um, so it would have been nice to have a custom Steelbook that you couldn't buy anywhere else from this release. But... Um, yeah, these sets, these full slips do make up for the uh, for, for the lack of custom steel book, and the one click box is absolutely beautiful. The um, the sort of glossy embossing of the uh, Indoraptor scales when the light hits it glistens. It's almost like water when it shines on it. It's just so cool. Hopefully the camera can pick that up well, and. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's very awesome. So what I've done with these editions is I've already made a space for them next to my other Jurassic Park releases. So if we just head on over this way, I've got the one click box presented actually on the shelf itself. And what I've done with the full slips is I've made a space along the beam. So there was, Blade Runner 2049 uh, from Film Arena, which I've still kept on show, but I've put them in the glass cabinet along with the Deckard blaster gun. Um, it's quite dark here at the moment. I'm filming quite late at night. Um, so yeah, what I am planning on doing is placing the Jurassic World full slip just the furthest along. And then the double lenticular with the front artwork facing there. And then my favorite of the three editions is going to go closest to where the light can catch it. So that's next to um, the Greatest Showman edition. So there we go. We've got all three editions along the top next to the Greatest Showman and Pan's Labyrinth. 
So what I'm also going to do is present the one-click box set next to the other steel books facing outwards because the artwork is very awesome on it. So I will keep them there next to these other Jurassic Park editions. Very cool. And I've still got from last month, I've still got those Phil Marina editions just over on this premium edition wall here. So you can see the artwork of the Indoraptors quite it's quite similar. Um, so they'll remain there until something new comes out. Right, so what else arrived this month was this very cool Patterson edition from Plain Archive. So Plain Archive are another premium company. And uh, they typically specialize in lots of indie movies, lots of um, lesser known, um, you know, non-big budget sort of um, typical Sundance. Um, here we've got Cannes Film Festival and um, those type of movies that you'd find there. So this movie by Jim Jarmusch, um, Adam Driver plays a guy called Patterson, who's from a town called Patterson, and he loves poetry. He loves writing poetry. So he's, uh, his day job is just driving a bus all day, but his real dream is uh, writing poetry. And this edition comes with so much cool memorabilia, um, especially for any, any fans of writing or poetry. Um, so it's got a, a glassy screen cleaner um, print there. It's got an awesome um, behind the scenes sort of documentary book. And it has some collected earlier poems from Patterson that are presented there. And also this very cool notepad where you can, uh, if you're into poetry, you can write your own poems with a pencil that arrived inside. And also a custom steel book that Plain Archive have made for this release. So this steel book is absolutely beautiful. The colours in it, the purples and the pinks, just really just shine absolutely beautiful and the imagery as well um from the movie when uh, patterson takes his dog out for a walk every evening he often visits his bar to get away from it all and it's not often you'll see a, an, an image that uh, sort of spans across the entire steel book from uh, from left to right it sort of um it just looks beautiful so yeah that's very very cool and the only place you can get this steel book is through this edition from plain archive so yeah, absolutely love the movie. Um, small little indie movie, really. Um, and I watched it the night of getting back from watching Endgame at the cinema. And um, I'm sure everyone by now who has seen it knows that Endgame is such an absolutely stunning, amazing, emotional roller coaster of a blockbuster movie. It's just everything I could have wanted from a Marvel movie. I absolutely adored it. Amazing what they've achieved. And then coming home and just watching something like this in contrast to Endgame, such a small independent sort of um intricate little movie yeah it was such a palate cleanser to endgame so i am um, yeah really enjoyed my time with that one and that box is absolutely beautiful right so we also picked up a lot of arrow editions because the easter weekend sale started and um typically whenever the sales on you can pick up arrow editions for over half the price uh usually um knocked off of what they usually cost so what i did was pretty much fill my basket with as much uh of the additions that i didn't have and then i've got a strict budget in mind and i know how much i want to spend on them so i ended up starting to remove a lot from the basket until i reached my my budget um so what i picked up was the endless in a pretty cool cardboard sleeve and white of the eye in a steel book so this was only five pound in the sale um, and a lot of collectors we shared our pictures and pickups of what we got in the sale lots of us here in australia picked this white of the eye up as well so getting an arrow edition in a steel book for five pound um yeah you can't go wrong so a lot of us picked that up um, i also got motel hell and um, which looks right up my street looks like an 80s sort of slasher horror movie so looking forward to uh, to giving that one a go uh, a Pistol for Ringo and Return of Ringo, a double bill, Westerns, Doom Asylum. Now, I watched this one the other night. Um, probably the worst acting and dialogue I've seen in a long time, but the gore made up for it. The uh, the humour as well, it was quite funny, and I, uh, I enjoyed it way more than I really should have done. So um, I couldn't really recommend it as a good movie, but I did enjoy my time with it. 
and Dave made a maze. So I haven't seen it yet, but I did watch the trailer a while ago and I did love the premise of it. The whole notion of the, the, the maze inside the cardboard structure looked absolutely brilliant. So very happy Arrow had that to release. And Deadbeat at Dawn. Again, a lot of friends here in Australia have been raving about this one. And this was the first time it had dropped in the sale on Arrow. So I did pick that one up as well. Uh, Street Mobster. Orgies of Edo. And this movie I've never seen, uh, but it's got a lot of famous faces in it, and it looks like it's straight out of the 80s, right up my street. Um, Tommy Lee Jones, Sean Bean, Sting. It'll be interesting to see if Sean Bean makes it all the way through. Um, I've never seen it, but I am really looking forward to it. I think I'm going to really enjoy my time with that one. So, um, Yeah, The Initiation, again, looks like a sort of 70s, 80s slasher. Um, so another one that I will hopefully enjoy. And uh, picked up Matinee as well. Haven't seen this one for years and years, but Joe Dante is such an awesome director. And I did watch this when I was younger. I remember quite enjoying it. So John Goodman's always value for money. Uh, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. So not sure if um, George Clooney is in this one. I think that maybe the first one was his first ever movie. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, it's an Arrow edition worth having. And Doberman Cup know nothing about this one at all. And that's the best thing about picking up a lot of these Arrow editions is you often find hidden gems that you wouldn't have bought normally, and that's why I like to collect them. Uh, Apprentice to Murder, again, Donald Sutherland. I know the actor, but I don't know the movie. Uh, the Exterminator, one of an earlier Arrow releases. Um, the Quiet Earth as well. Again, another one I know very little about. And Twelve Monkeys. So this one I did watch recently on another edition I've got. I've got a Steelbook edition of it. And I have seen it before a few times. Um, but I was planning on watching the television series. So I watched the movie first before cracking open season one of the TV show. Um, so I have seen that one quite recently. It's still fresh in the mind. Uh, the Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. Again, know nothing about it, but it looks intriguing. And then Sisters and Contamination. And last but not least, Dark Blue. Kurt Russell, one of my favourite actors, especially in his uh, sort of earlier John Carpenter movies. Absolutely think he's, he's a legend. Um, so this I have on a limited edition DVD, but it'd be nice to watch it again on uh, high definition. So I picked that up as well. That's cool artwork of, of uh, Kurt there. So yeah, those are all the Arrow editions that I managed to pick up. Now sticking with Arrow, I did manage to grab a whole bunch of these really early Blu-ray Arrow releases from a friend here in Australia. Um, he was selling these over Facebook. Um, so when we started talking, um, we, we came up with a deal. Um, so I got these at a good price, and I think he was happy with it as well. Um, so yeah, basically all of these editions have been re-released by Arrow um, in uh, newer sort of uh, boxes or most of them have and i think that's why he didn't want them anymore uh, he's, he's already sort of double dipped on a lot of them so he was getting rid of these ones um and i absolutely love the artwork i love the packaging and uh, some of these are such classics mario barva's a bay of blood and uh, one of the first sort of uh, sort of lakeside slasher movies and lucio fulci is one of the best uh, directors from that period in that sort of um, area of the world same with argento and then we've got george a romero um, and Toby Hopper so yeah some absolute classics in here um, and I'll pick Deep Red at the top Argento is one of his best and um, the reason I like these editions so much is these earlier slip covers from Arrow they have these plastic window displays where you could have four different versions of the artwork for the movie usually four posters um, so depending on the one you preferred the most, uh, you could uh, pick and choose how you wanted to display it. So inside, if we just remove the insert, the inlay, you can see on the back there's another two editions of the movie, a promotional poster or the actual box art from uh, from somewhere else in the world. So yeah, you had four different options, four different um, choices of, of what to, what cover to show off for the movie. And that was on all of these white editions. And um, typically now all of these standard 
arrow editions that come they usually come with um, artwork on both sides of the sleeve and um, typically it's newly commissioned art and then the original artwork on the other side but yeah these early editions had four different options so yeah very cool i'm very happy to have those in the collection there is still a few more of these white slip covers that i haven't got yet but i will uh, have fun tracking those down online so next up i got quite a selection of steelbooks and just standard blu-ray releases first of all was aquaman and um, so this was the standard steelbook that it released here in australia and this was worldwide art again this was available in a lot of countries a lot of places and um, but it was nice uh, nice to have the movie in 4k and i also picked up the digibook edition of aquaman also the lenticular cover so flipping it around it changes between black manta and um aquaman himself so yeah very cool and i'm so happy that the dc universe and the uh, the guys that distribute these have decided to stick with this digipack uh, lenticular releases because usually if you start buying um artwork for a particular series of movies they stop them halfway through or they decide to change the look or design of them and then you just don't have a matching set but what uh, what the dceu have done is all the way from man of steel is release these editions in these digi packs so i've already made a space for aquaman along the beam here at the top we just place him there and then it's next to you can see justice league wonder woman suicide squad batman vs superman and the rarest of them all man of steel and um, so yeah very happy and hopefully with wonder woman 84 and uh, suicide squad uh, the next one they'll keep releasing them in those digi packs for us collectors so yeah very cool and um, also picked up on a steel book from zavi was annihilation so yeah natalie portman movie i watched this last year when it first released on netflix and um, although I quite enjoyed it, I wasn't really blown away by it, but watching it again since receiving this steelbook, um, I appreciate it a lot more a second time, so that's usually the case sometimes with movies, if you watch them a second time and let them sink in a bit more, they, um, yeah, usually your opinion can change of them, and yet this steelbook artwork, I, I like it that when there's no um, title to the movie actually on the front, it's almost like it's a, a work of art almost, so that one is uh, very cool, very too happy to have that one. And also picked up 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, Stanley Kubrick's sci-fi masterpiece, uh, 4K edition, you know, buy two, get one free, and it was 20% off as well, so I got that for a real bargain, um, as you can see I haven't opened it up yet, haven't had time to sort of give, give this one another spin, um, but yeah, looking forward to it, it is one of my favourite Kubrick movies, and it uh, sort of ushered in um, a lot of sci-fi um, movies for a lot of newer directors so uh, yeah the o uh, the o stanley kubrick a lot for that uh, goosebumps 2 big fan of the first one i thought it was a really fun movie i'm sure if i was a lot younger i'd have uh, thought it was the best movie ever um you know it wasn't uh, scary for adults but i think for young children it would be right up my street i remember growing up loving the monster squad and it kind of had that vibe to it so yeah goosebumps 2 wasn't uh, as good as the first one they do sort of keep jack black back until uh, until the end of the movie but uh, it was okay it was okay and uh, how to train your dragon uh, the hidden world in 3d so I picked up the 3D edition um, and not the 4K version because Best Buy in the States are going to release um, this movie on 4K in a limited steelbook edition. So I will pick that up next month. Um, but I couldn't wait that long to watch it. So I picked up the 3D version from here at JB Hi-Fi. And uh, yeah, the 3D on it was amazing. It's not uh, it's not often I'll pick up many 3D movies anymore. But uh, I'm a big fan of DreamWorks and especially things like Monsters vs. Aliens and... Um, Kung Fu Panda as well. I think they often give uh, Pixar a run for the money and uh, the How to Train Your Dragon series has always been a favourite of mine, so that's good. And then the, on the opposite end of the spectrum, the house that Jack built, Lars von Trier. Um, probably one of his most mainstream movies, but even then there's a lot of scenes in it that really do push the boundaries of what uh, 
what you can stomach. Um, Matt Dillon's great in it, and there was a scene in this where um, he is a serial killer, and earlier on in his time um, doing what he does, um, he's got OCD, he suffers OCD, and he has to keep going back to the crime scene because he convinces himself he hasn't quite cleaned it up properly, and I thought that was absolutely genius, and the way it's shot and the way he acts in it, it really has you on the edge of your seat, especially when a policeman turns up. So, yeah, um, quite, quite uh, strong to stomach, although... Yeah, um, not as um, controversial as maybe Antichrist, that scene towards the end with the scissors. But uh, yeah, I uh, I did enjoy my time with that one more than I have with any other Lars von Trier movie, I think. So next up, I picked up this awesome Deadpool 2 edition from Manta Lab. Um, so this is their double lenticular premium edition. So on the front you can see there it's got Deadpool and then... Very cool. I'm not quite sure if you can see on the side where it's got Domino resting along the D. And then on the back we've got Cable, or Josh Brolin, or Thanos himself. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's cool. And the, the deepness in the lenticular, you can see the actual rubble and debris from the explosions around him. It just looks so clear and crisp and detailed. Some lenticular additions you can get can be quite pixelated and the, the quality can be quite... Um, quite poor really to be honest for the money that you pay for these premiums but this is amazing and um, one of the best things also about this edition is it comes with Manta's own custom steelbook so this steelbook you couldn't get anywhere else in the world only through Manta Lab and it's uh, the imagery taking the mick out of Flashdance where the uh, instead of water it's uh, bullet casings landing on Deadpool and the title's all embossed as well and then on the back that's a stark contrast where it's all bright and happy and yeah absolutely beautiful steelbook Book. and typical for these premium releases it also comes with a photo book as well and there's a few art cards inside the steel book so what i did with this one is i already made some space for the edition so what i had to do was move my marvel steel books the lenticular ones from zavi i had to move those along to fit this one in so the artwork is slowly disappearing on all of those as I get more premiums from Marvel. They're eventually going to be really squashed up. Um, so I had to make room here next to the film arena editions of Deadpool 2 that I picked up. So that one is just going to slot in right there. So very cool. So yeah, very happy with those. And um, the steel book of it, I will eventually put it on my Marvel steel book wall, which I've just got behind the TV. But I'm just waiting for a few more um, magnets to arrive before I can place them. Okay. So next up, I picked up a bunch of 4K editions from JB Hi-Fi. Again, a lot of them in the sale. But the first one was Ridley Scott's absolute sci-fi masterpiece alien one of my favorite movies of all time and in 4k it looked absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful the darkness of the corridor scenes the lights the shining through the torches and through the the blinking colored buttons on in the nostromo everything about it was just stunning it was like watching it again for the first time so very happy that released in 4k as you can probably see, uh, other countries did get a, a slip cover with their release and it was um, had a hollow foil, I think. It was shining when the light hit it. It looked beautiful from the pictures I saw. Um, but typically here in Australia, we do get uh, slip gypped. I think I mentioned that last time. So, yeah, unfortunately, no slip, but still an absolutely amazing transfer. Um, also picked up Widows. Yeah, very good movie. Um, very good acting by, um, by all involved. And Hook as well, one of Spielberg's lesser sort of uh, appreciated movies I think um, for the cost I think it was considered a flop maybe at first when it came out but I love it it's got a very pantomime feel to it with all the sets that they uh, they obviously act on and yeah picked up Mortal Engines as well so this one um, me and my partner watched a couple of Saturdays ago and um, she enjoyed it a lot more than I did um, although I do want to give it another go um, I think maybe over time I'll appreciate it more like Waterworld. I think it'll grow on me with age. It'll become a cult movie. So that one I'm happy to watch again to see if it, my opinion changes. Uh, Superman the movie, one of the best uh, comic book movies ever made, was also in the buy two get one free. So that one was picked up along with 2001. And the third one I picked up in that sale was Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters in 4K. So it's probably a lot of hate for this movie. There's not probably not many fans, um, but I absolutely love it. 
I love the two main stars and also Famke Janssen as well I think is absolutely brilliant and Peter Stormer he is always great in everything and this has just the right amount of action and horror and gore and comedy I just I think the time just goes so quick watching and I have fun from start to finish and I've, I've seen it about three times now and in 4k it looked absolutely beautiful so happy to pick that one up not everyone's favorite but I enjoy it okay and Last but not least in the premium range is this Forest Gump edition from the Ultra HD Club. Um, again, I think from China. So this um, this wooden edition, um, the imagery is all being etched into the wood, the title, and also the 4K Ultra HD logo and the back artwork as well. So such a cool box. Uh, it did arrive with a mistake down the spine. A lot of collectors noticed this when they received theirs, they did uh, misspell Gump. Um, so how that got through sort of the product testing, um, a lot of collectors weren't too sure about, but um, overall the quality is pretty cool um, with, the, with the casing itself. It does come with the 4K edition of Forrest Gump just in an Amore box. It doesn't have the steel book. Um, but again, I haven't watched it yet, but I do like Robert Zemeckis and I've seen the movie many times. Um, so yeah, very happy um, to have this. Now, I think this company are going to release Dunkirk next. I think a few collectors have already started receiving their edition. So it's the same wooden box with the Dunkirk imagery etched into it. So that uh, is on pre-order. So hopefully maybe next month I'll have that one to show off. And uh, yeah, they'll look great together having those two side by side. Now, I also went to a thrift store. Um, which I try and go to about once a month um, to see if they've got anything new, any bargains there. And I managed to pick up Battlestar Galactica, this absolute beast of a box. So I've never seen this edition out in the wild before. I don't even think it's from Australia. It might be American. I'm not too sure. I do have um, Battlestar Galactica, uh, the complete series on a few different editions. Um, but when I saw this one for $30 in the condition that it was, I just I had to get it so basically if we just pop the camera back down and lift up the lid you can see that it comes with the original complete series on DVD and that side of the box and then spinning it around on this side we've got the uh, the newer series so it's awesome having the uh, the original and the newer series together in one complete edition and you know the artwork is absolutely amazing and for thirty dollars i just could not turn it down so that was my bargain find of the month and while i was there i also found this very cool austin powers trilogy tin so the front title is all embossed as well which is awesome and uh, it does have a knock on top it looks like that it was damaged at some point from the previous owner and which is a bit of a shame but for five dollars and inside it's got all three dvd editions of Austin Powers yeah couldn't turn it down so there was a company here in Australia called Easy DVD uh, who used to have physical stores that used to make and manufacture these and sell them as exclusive so it was from them I believe but yeah never seen that edition before and for five dollars I thought why the hell not right guys so on to the big one wrong turn so what I will do guys is just pop the camera down for a second so these are the media books, all six movies released in this uh, this awesome box here. It says limited edition special bust on the side. So all six movies in their own individual media books. So we've got wrong turn six, five, four, you can see the artwork on them, three, Two, and the Elijah Dushku one. Honestly, I think I've only seen maybe three, maybe one to three. So I am looking forward to having a marathon of all six. Um, but yeah, my plan is to maybe on Friday night watch uh, one and two, and then Saturday three and four, and then uh, Sunday five and six just to get through them. So I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, and I know um, they're probably going to have uh, varying degrees of quality as they get on in the series. But I do quite enjoy watching uh, these horror movies. Um, yeah doing marathons like that so the final piece that arrived was this blu-ray bust that came with those media books 
So this model from Nameless Media is an absolute monster. It's so heavy and the detail is incredible. It's all been hand painted. Um, so it's got that kind of wet, glossy look to it as well, which makes the entrails look very gross and the heart as well. And one of the uh, cannibal brothers, obviously, and licking his knife, enjoying his meal. And um, yeah, absolutely amazing. So Nameless Media, I've said this before, makes some of the best additions in the world for collectors like me. And in the back of the base, they've made a space as well, so you can place the media book as well. You can't place them all, which is a bit strange, but um, yeah, you can place it. One, and it also came with a t-shirt as well. So luckily it's extra large, so that one should fit me. So yeah, very, very happy with that one. Just have to find somewhere to place it now. I think it might be too heavy to put in one of my glass cabinets. So um, yeah, I'll have to find somewhere special to place that one. But the detail is amazing. And it was limited to 666 in the world. So I think it's sold out faster than any other Nameless Bust as well. So yeah, there's a lot of collectors out there who uh, who got their hands on that one. So, all right guys, I think that's everything. Um, one final thing though, um, although that Nameless Media Bust is absolutely stunning, it wasn't actually the best uh, thing that I got this month. So what, I did get and we'll see if uh, they're still awake was Lilo and Stitch hey baby so there's one little white walker oh and there's the other one sleeping on the on the rug so I got two new kittens joining my collection hey baby so they were my favorite uh, new items of the month and of the year. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take something special to top these two little kids. So guys, that is everything that arrived this month. So again, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And uh, if you've got any questions about any additions, where I got them from, then yeah, please don't hesitate to uh, shoot me a message. I'll also put a link as well um, in the video description showing where I got all of these additions from. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it again. And if you, uh, you have any question at all, just uh, shoot me a message. Yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.